Hey there, dear YouTube audience, and welcome to a special video on my channel. I'm, of course, the one that loves you all there the most. It's the love giant! Resident Evil 3 content, ne Nemesis, obviously, is gonna be back in a major way. Not that it, that it wasn't there in the first place, but... BioRant is a Resident Evil randomizer that was available for Resident Evil 1, for the original one, and for Resident Evil 2. Now, the most recent addition that I knew of was that... We, al we always had, like, the Resident Evil 1 door randomizer. <clears throat> and I think also the lock randomizer was a thing. Um, then we had Resident Evil 2 just recently, where they also had a door randomizer. Not sure if there's also a lock randomizer. I think there is. But now, the thing that I waited for the most is actually the update that also includes Resident Evil 3. We have the Resident Evil 3 door randomizer now in Biorand. And if you don't know what Biorand is, obviously, the link is going to be in the description below. Let's take a look at the mod DB page before we actually look at the launcher because it goes so in depth, it's fucking crazy. Uh, it says Resident Evil 2 mod, but it also now works with Resident Evil 3. And it says a new randomizer for the classic Resident Evil games for PC supports sophisticated door randomization, key item placement, randomized non key items, randomized enemies, randomized NPCs, and with matching random voices and random background music, all highly configurable and easy to share seats and config fun pff, configurations. Uh, the randomizer currently only supports the source next port of Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2, now also Resident Evil 3, and with the classic RE birth patch. Now I also apply, I obviously have like the source next version because it's the only way to actually play uh, the original Resident Evil games. And I also applied now the Rebirth, like the seamless HD package, so the game looks even more better. I think it can't get any better than this, even though we also thought that with uh, the addition of um, Source Next. Um, as you can see, there has been a bunch of updates, and uh, yeah, last, re last update was on 17th of March this year, so extremely recent. I think I don't even have that one. I do. Uh, so yeah, we have BioRant Resident Evil Randomizer version 3.1.0. This is what you're looking here. So we have like the three games. Obviously, we have Resident Evil 1. You see all the randomizations you can do here. Resident Evil 2. And then also, obviously, the one that we're going to be focusing on for now or for the next uh, foreseeable future. Maybe forever. Which is going to be Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. And you see how fucking crazy this is. The thing is, you can set your... Um, uh, like the, the the character that you play as you can play everyone from resident evil 1 to resident evil 2 to resident evil 3 to resident evil 2 and 3 yeah remake also the voice lines from the play from the characters from the remake and also from resident evil 2 are gonna be in the game and they are gonna be randomized throughout the entirety of the experience from what i've gathered and we can obviously play as kendo not only from resident evil 2 but also from resident evil 2 um, remake, which is fucking insane. Again, also the voice lines are randomized. If you want, like, specific randomized music that we have on the right here, um, I think for Resident Evil 1 and 2, you actually, like, the original ones, you actually need, uh, you know, like, where you installed that, so you need the games for that, but I think every other one from Resident Evil 4, 5, the fact that you have that in Resident Evil 3 is amazing, um, I don't think you need to have them. I just disabled them because I don't really like those two in particular. But we also have Code Veronica and Umbrella Chronicles, I think it, this is. Um, but yeah, randomized music is a thing. Randomized NPCs, and you also see how in-depth this goes because there are also characters that I don't even know who the fuck they are. Like, who the fuck is Alyssa? I know Ark from Resident Evil Survivor, which you can also play as. By the way, but it kind of crashes the game every single time, so that's kind of that kind of sucks. And Ada, the one thing that... That is missing in Resident Evil 3, basically. So we can also play as Ada, which I think we're going to be doing uh, in the first time. Randomized doors is now available, as I said. Um, this one right here, uh, you can prioritize rooms with cutscenes. So if checked, the seat will... Hold on. Uh, the seat will try to include as many cutscenes as possible. Which is pretty good. I think that's mostly like for Resident Evil 1 and 2, though. You can choose the number of segments, adjust how many distinct groups of room appear before reaching the end. So you can align that. And it says, like, estimate uh, completion time is 30 to 60 minutes per scenario. If you increase that right here, that doesn't change anything, actually. But right here, segment size. You can go from low and high. Adjust how many rooms are in a segment. And if you 
go higher, you see, two to three hours, two to three hours still, two to four hours, two to five hours, and the maximum is like between two and six hours to complete an entire game. Um, I think we're gonna be, yeah, like the lowest one is 15 to 30 minutes, I think we're gonna have that for the beginning, maybe two to three hours, maybe 30 to 60 minutes we're gonna see. You can randomize items, you can randomize documents, um, you can, you can allow all alternative routes, save key placement, shuffle default items, which basically if you check this, which you can't with the door randomization apparently. Oh yeah, okay, that's unchecked. So if you don't have that, obviously you can also uh, shuffle um, default items. When checked, it keeps original items and quantities, but shuffles them. So you still have all the items that are in the base game, but they are just shuffled around. You can't do that with door randos because some rooms just completely don't appear. And you might have items there. You can start off with a random inventory. Um, I don't know exactly what all of this is. Like, I, I think like you start with a sidearm or with a primary or with a powerful or just with a complete random set of things. Or if you uncheck that, obviously you start with the default thing, which is a samurai edge. Um... Samurai Edge, the game manuals, and obviously the reload tool. Um, you can have... Right here, this is also insane. You have ammo average quantity. If you want to find nothing or just high, you can alternate that. Uh, which is, I think, average quantity of an ammunition pickup. Highest setting will allow a maximum of 60 handgun uh, bullets in a pickup or 30 shotgun shells. So basically, you know, you find a pickup and then it decides, like, how much uh, ammo you find there. You have gunpowder prob probability, that how probable it is for them to show up. You have ammo, you have health, and you have ink ribbon. You can customize that to your liking. As you can see, you can pull the slider here and it shows you uh, the quantity. You can randomize enemies, which, you know, goes without saying, and you can alternate that between, di but in the difficulty. You can make it more easy or you can make it more hard. Pause. And basically it says adjust the limit of how many difficult enemies can appear in a single room, the likelihood of them being aggravated. So AC aka they could go turbo. And you can also just completely randomize how many arms you want, how many crows, how many sliding worms, spiders, zombies, hunters, brain suckers, zombie dogs, and nemies. Not sure if the nem nemies are also randomized. This not gonna no lie, this is this is fucking insane. That you can go that much in depth it also shows you on the bottom can i actually no i can't uh make this um bigger pause but you can also like see down here like the probability of uh, basically like this graph you know that you have for um the pickups you also have a graph down here which shows you the likelihood of like specific enemies when you adjust the slider here um how many are more likely to appear in you know relation to the other ones that you have in there fucking awesome um, obviously, door randomizer is something that I've waited for, and I think we're gonna have, like, th this is basically endless fucking, um, and this is endless content, basically, that we have here. So, big thank you to, let me see, uh, there it is, Intel Orca, the guy that basically made this randomizer possible. Everyone that helped him out, obviously, do we have, actually, we have info right here, yeah. Thanks to everyone. I think also, yeah, Comiso also worked on this. I think he actually provided some of um, the models as well. And we have like the who is who. I don't think we have. Um, we have Andrew C. Comiso, Leiji, Rusty, Starring Role. Okay. Comiso, there it is. To RE2 and 3 remake models. And Comiso also miscellaneous stuff. We have NCF, Hazenut, Reduke, Classic, RE modding Discord community, obviously. Special thanks to all BioRant streamers and bug reporters, Andrew C, Elsop, Shannon, Snips, CashUp, and Intel Orca, the, the guy that orchestrated all of this, I guess, the leading programmer of this. And everyone basically who provided anything here is a fucking legend, Elsop, just for the Kendo texture. <laughs> fucking awesome. Uh, so yeah. This is what we're gonna be dealing with soon. We're obviously gonna also be playing the regular uh, randomizer that we had from Pyramid K, because that randomizer is also still fucking amazing. Um, but yeah, this is what you what you can expect in the future on my channel when it comes to Resident Evil 3. I'm always, like, for every single video, the link to the random randos is gonna be in the description below. And it's also gonna be stated in the title from now on, so... You can quickly gather, <clears throat> basically, which randomizer we work on. And I thought, by the way, that for, um... 
I think like the voice randomizer is just standard. Like every cutscene uh, has randomized voice lines, but uh, if you basically play with, uh, like we are doing with Ada, we have like randomized voice lines from Ada from Resident Evil 2, or if we choose the uh, the remake version, obviously from uh, the remake. And if like Dario, for instance, is replaced with um, Hunk, does he even have voice lines? I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, you have also then have randomized voice lines from uh, Hunk, which is going to be extremely interesting to see. Um, as I said, I wanted to play as Ark because obviously he has like the best voice lines probably, especially if you conjoin them with like uh, Resident Evil 2 or 3 characters. But the problem is the game or like the rando, at least with the door rando, uh, it crashes. So yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. We're gonna have to fiddle around with that. I'm not even sure if Ada works. I know Kendo works, but yeah, we're gonna see how or if... Um, Ada also works, and obviously we can also just play like the regular, ra regular rando without door randomization, but um, yeah. This is what we're gonna be dealing with soon. Uh, yeah. Again, link for the rando is in the description, and yeah. Hope to see you in the next Resident Evil 3 rando.